what is up guys welcome back to a brand new video and as you can see today is gonna be a little bit special because it's the first time i have revealed my face on this youtube channel and it's partially thanks to you guys because i got my first paycheck from youtube slash google it wasn't much but it was enough to buy a new webcam and that's what i'm using right now so uh, thanks for watching all the ads on the videos because uh, of course I'm still a small YouTube channel so I won't have any sponsorships. So yeah, um, just want to say thanks for supporting me and it's kind of cool to see that I finally um, was able to grow my channel to a certain point where I could uh, earn a little bit of extra money with it. So that's pretty cool and uh, I wanted to do this tier list video. Um, I want to make this sort of like a reoccurring theme on my YouTube channel. Normally I would want to do this with like a guest or something like that and get to know them a bit better or just more of a casual video in general. But since I like had never revealed my face, I thought I would do this one by myself. So there will definitely be another episode of the steer list. So be sure to comment down below what other items I should rank. But um, yeah, without further ado, let's uh, yeah, let's get started. Hopefully, all the settings are fine because this is like really the first time I'm using the webcam to record a video. But uh, yeah, let's let's start off with the first item. And for the first item, we have a um, brown bamboo head. I think you could take any bamboo head. Um, I think everyone has like their own personal favorite. But I think the brown bamboo head is the one that was most, uh, used the most because uh, it, it gave luck. And since there was no bamboo head that gave int, both um, thieves and mages used this bamboo head. Um, personally, I played back in the day mostly on uh, mages and uh, thieves. So uh, this bamboo hat holds a pretty special place in my heart so i think i would put it in a tier for now um, maybe it'll change after i put some other items in there it's not quite up there at s tier because it's there are more iconic items but let's be honest definitely when the luckless and dexless era of the game started you saw these everywhere and that's both a good and a bad thing so the next item is a uh, blue snowboard um, as you probably know, if you've watched my previous uh, YouTube series, the Iron Man Grind, you will know that I like to collect items. And MapleStory has a lot of these fun items you can collect, from the umbrellas to the snowboards to the surfboards. And I actually quite uh, liked collecting these kinds of items. For me, I never really used these items because they are quite bad because they have really slow attack speed and there's I think almost always a better alternative at that level. Maybe like the level 70 snowboard had some use because um, when Golby Leech started a lot of people got their hands on a lot of level 70 maple snowboards and yeah because there were so many in circulation a lot of them got scrolled. Um, and some of them got godly stats so i think i would put this in b tier it's definitely like um i remember like getting this was i think the first equipment i got actually in the game i think i was training in the hennessy's hunting grounds and a slime dropped this and i was super excited to to get it because i didn't see this item anywhere in any shop so i was quite excited to find out that the game held these kind of fun weapons in it um, next one is a blue sauna robe. Um, of course, if you were a female character, you get a red sauna robe. But uh, this item is for me S tier. I mean, every class uh, at some point probably would have wanted this because you could scroll it with strength, dex, uh, luck, uh, intelligence, like all the main stats. And uh, for all the classes, this had uh, some value at some point. And I think it also gave some avoidability. Uh, and also, if you weren't um, planning on wearing it, doing the quest to get it definitely was worthwhile because then you could sell a clean sauna rope, which was a guaranteed profit at level 30. I think you needed to do a quest in Sleepy Wood or something like that, so pretty good. And uh, the next item, or skill rather, is the three snails. Um, 
for me it is super nostalgic it, it might be one of my favorite skills in the game uh, just because it's like super iconic it teaches the player like um, how skills work how MP work when you are a beginner but it falls off pretty quickly of course once you get your first job skills this basically becomes irrelevant I know like if you're a warrior you could use it to lure monsters to you like uh, for example if you don't want to walk uh, some distance you could throw a snail shell at the monster and then just walk the other way and then you have the aggro that is one use of it uh, later in the game the problem with that is bec because you have to have a one-handed weapon to use this skill and a lot of warrior classes use uh, two-handed weapons uh, so I think it's a B tier for me it has a really nostalgic value but just because it drops off so fast and so quickly in the game um, it's it goes into the B tier then the next item is a uh, red potion and I think like the red and blue potion is kind kind of interchangeable. I mean, once you get like your first first few mesos, you go to the potion shop and start buying these kinds of potions. And yeah, it's just like your basic healing item in a, in a, in a game. You know, it's like the first thing you come across. I really like the way it it is designed. It's really clean. It communicates exactly what it has to do, but it doesn't really hold a lot of um, like nostalgic value for me so I'm gonna put it in the C tier here and yeah uh, because once you create like your second account and your first account is like level 30 or 40 or something like that and you transfer over some mesos you'll probably skip these potions and just buy white potions right off the bat or orange potions uh, because these only heal 50 HP and yeah it, they, they become obsolete pretty quickly that's uh, that's what I'm trying to say then oh panlet this is definitely um, one of the more nostalgic items I know the green mushrooms uh, drop these and as a kid I was never able to get it like back in the day pre Big Bang the drop rates were so low and I hunted these green mushrooms for so so long and I never could get a drop or I never could get the panlet to to drop so I always had to buy it in the free market and once I got like one uh, I, I just transferred it from account to account because like a warrior can all, of course buy better shields in the shop uh, up until level 25 I think if you are in Ludibrium you can buy the red level 25 shield but for mages and and uh, bandits and yeah this is pretty much the the best early game option of course mages get a uh, not an aster shield but uh, I forgot the other name of the level 22 or level 20 shield but um, a very nostalgic item and because you saw so many people walking around with this and also because back in the day like aster shields and that other shield that the uh, thieves use uh, those were kind of expensive so you actually saw a lot of like higher level people walking around with um, with it with this um, and then our next item is a taxi um, yeah definitely the Victoria Island classic of course and uh, at some point um, once I had a little bit more mesos I always bought the return to town scrolls from all the cities uh, to especially early game travel around uh, like a lot quicker so the taxi was quite uh, inconveniently placed uh, in a city so if you wanted to travel like from Hennessy's hunting grounds or whatever place to Alinea all you had to do was open your inventory and use a return to Alinea scroll for example so but the taxi I think it, it was super helpful so uh, and of course I was quite amazed when I was playing Maple Story for the first time I walked into um, Hennessy's and the first thing you see is like this taxi so I was like this game is kind of quite interesting it has like uh, knights and mages and stuff like that but it also has like a modern car so that was quite interesting for me but um, yeah for me it's a B tier uh, it's um, kind of interesting uh, but um, yeah B tier it is then um, the blue umbrella 
Actually, uh, I should have like separated these two items, the snowboard and the umbrella, into maybe two separate episodes. Because they are quite similar, they belong to like a sort of fun weapons uh, collection. But the umbrella actually had a little bit more use because... I think it's like a level 8 weapon, or like a level 12 weapon, I forgot the exact level. And it was actually quite good for low level mages, so uh, especially if you would scroll it. But um, yeah, so at some point you saw some like rich noobs walking around with this. So I think I'll put it in C tier or in B tier. Maybe I should swap these two, just because like I remember like once I made some money, uh, I also bought like this umbrella and I made a mage and then I started using this umbrella myself and yeah uh, I think like swapping these would be better because this had actually some practical use and a snowboard I think like once um, Evan or uh, it's not Evan Aaron got released the the um, class where you had to make your own combos by pressing different buttons they only use pole arms and since all snow ar uh, snowboards are pull arms, I think then it got some use. But I never played that class, so it doesn't hold any nostalgic value, value to me. Ooh, and then uh, the level 35 Maple Claw. I think this is, out of all the Maple weapons, the most iconic. Because a Hermit, a Assassin, uh, a Thief with a Claw and Throwing Stars was and is maybe the most played class in the game. And in the era of dexless uh, thieves, this weapon was like everywhere, especially once, uh, especially like before the level 30 or 43 claw was released, and after that the 64 claw. This was like the 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 best weapon to have on a dexless uh, thief. So. It's uh, quite similar, I think, to the uh, bamboo head. And now that I look at it, this is almost like these three items, the claw, the sauna rope, and the uh, uh, bamboo head. Those are actually like almost the full equipment of a dexless <laughs> assassin. But um, I think I'll put it in A tier. For me, uh, it's uh, it also marked like a weapon that you almost had to have in order to be uh, effective as a dexless uh, thief. So. Uh, and like when these weapons were released, I had nowhere near enough money to buy one. So for me, it's uh, a tier. It's still very nostalgic, um, but not f yeah very memorable for me personally. But very nostalgic. Yeah. And then the last item on our list is this Korean fan. I think these two I should have separated those as well into different episodes because um, although daggers didn't get a level 35 weapon. Uh, bandits did have the Korean fan as like a dexless option and I think I would put it also in A tier just because of the the same reasons as the maple claw so um, there you have it guys um, these are my uh, placements for these items and I should have like maybe um, told you guys at the beginning of the video but this is like a personal tier list and it's based on my own opinion and my own memories so um, I'm curious to hear what um, order you would have picked for these items and I will definitely do a third episode of this like nostalgic tier list and rating like items, NPCs, mobs. So if you want to see some nostalgic items or NPCs or mobs, comment them down below and I'll have some more items to use for a third episode and in third episode I'll promise I'll have a new guest. So. I think that's it for now. Um, once again, um, thanks for watching this video. I know this will probably get a little bit less views than my regular Let's Play series of the Iron Man, but um, it's okay because this is, I think, more for the diehard uh, scroll guy fans. But um, yeah, I just wanted to say thank you guys for helping me grow this YouTube channel. Uh, I also have a Discord community. I think uh, we almost have like 300 members there and once maple lands slash maple worlds is released um, it's i think cool to be uh, in a community where people can come together and play together so um, yeah if you're looking for a place to hang out with people and talk about maple uh, join the discord and that's it for now i think so thanks for watching and i hope to see you guys next time Bye bye